Here's another problem involving area and perimeter. This time we're dealing with a compound shape. That just means that we've got a shape made up of smaller shapes put together, basically. So here we've got two rectangles, and they form an L shape. And spotting that we've got two rectangles is the key to finding the area of the L shape, because we have a formula for working out the area of rectangles, and what we can do is we can divide the shape into two rectangles, and then work out the area of each, and then finally add them together to get the total area. So I'm going to label these two rectangles P and Q. To find out the area of P, we're going to be multiplying its length, which is 12, by its width, 5. So the area of P will be 12 times 5 metres, giving us 60 metres squared altogether. Now for Q, we need to work out this length here. We know that we've got a width of 4, but we don't have this length here. But we do know that in total, we have 10 metres here, down the left-hand side, and so far there are 5 metres already taken up here. That means that this length must be 5 metres. And so the area of Q is going to be found by calculating 4 metres times 5 metres. And that gives us 20 metres squared. So the total area of the L shape is going to be 20 plus that 60. And that gives us 80 metres squared overall. So now we move on to perimeter. And that's just the total distance around the outside of the shape. So we're going to need to add up all of the lengths around this L shape. And before we can do that, we need to work out the one missing one here. Now, we know that we have 12 metres here, and 4 has already been taken up here, which means this must be 8 metres. And now that we've got all of them, we can work out the perimeter. So the perimeter will be 12 metres plus 5 metres. You see here I'm putting a mark every time I'm adding one of the lengths, so that's plus 8. And that's just to stop me from forgetting which ones I've done or making some kind of silly mistake. So plus 5 there, plus 4, and finally plus 10. And then I know that I'm back to the start and I've got them all because there's a mark on every single one and I'm back to the 12 at the top here. So adding all of those together will give you 44 metres in total. And that's the perimeter. And there we go. Done.